Okay, so what we're doing is we're using a combination of effects to create this simple kind of revealing effect, which is done through the use of what's called a traveling mat. A traveling mat is simply a mat image that moves. So in this case, it's just a very simple stroke animating from the bottom to the top. We've got white against black, which means that we can change the uh, blend mode to stencil luma so that only what is underneath the white part will be visible and everything else will be turned invisible or transparent. So we change that. You can see it again. You'll see how the, the underlying video, which is uh, our subject against the white background, almost white background, is being revealed. Okay, so we'll just do that from scratch just to show you we, how we can put this matte image together. So here's the underlying video. So he remains fairly static, so we can we can use one single stroke to reveal him. Now the way that we go about doing this is to create a second um, solid, a second layer that is a solid. That solid needs to be black, and we can call it our traveling mat, and make sure that it's black. Click OK. So it's on top of our video layer, so we can just hit T to bring up the transparency and bring that down to 50, just so we can see under it. Um, in fact, we could switch off the layer as well if we want to, but we can do it this way, it's fine. Now, with that layer selected, I'm going to get my pen tool just to create a mask that the stroke is going to be able to follow. So I'll start underneath and go up to the top. Just pull down get my selection tool there and straighten that up slightly. Okay, so again, with my layer selected, I now have a mask. If I hit M, I can see the mask. It's there. Now, it's not doing any masking necessarily because it's not closed. It's an open path mask. So I can get my stroke effect now and drag that onto the layer. And that will automatically be applied to the mask path. Okay, so that's how the stroke works. Uh, it's one of the ways that the stroke works. If you have a mask, the stroke will automatically detect that mask if you have multiple masks and you want the stroke to happen simultaneously, you can hit all, all masks. Anyway, but just, just to crack on with this, we'll make the brush size as big as possible. In this case, it's 200. It doesn't quite cover the subject. I'll harden it, but I can kind of cheat this if I wish, and I can hit S for scale, unlink my width and my height, and I can expand that, and then just move it across so it covers it. Okay. I may have nudged that down slightly there, so I'll just change that to 360. Okay, so I have a stroke, and that stroke is on black, but it's not moving. So the next thing I'll do is I'll bring the playhead back to the start, and I'll go up to my stroke effect, and I've got two properties here that can animate the stroke along the, the mask path. The end property will pull stroke in from the end and the start property will push it up from the start. I'm just going to use the end property here. I'm going to keyframe it on the first frame, type in zero. And if you want to, you can do that again. We'll just drag it back to zero so you can see it going back to the start. You won't see the keyframe down here because I don't have my effect open. So I hit E to bring up my effect and go to two seconds, two dot, enter, and I'll change that end property to 100. So you'll see I have two keyframes now, and that's now an automated movement from bottom to top. So the next thing to do is simply to change the blend mode, or composite mode, whatever you want to call it, to stencil luma. And you'll now see that effect take place. Okay, so if I change the background maybe to a different color, it might be easier to see. Okay, so now we can see the video layer being kind of revealed over the the composition background. Okay, so it's stencil luma. If I was to set it to silhouette luma, it would do the opposite. It would kind of cut him out of the shot. Okay, so that's how you create a simple traveling mat which you can make as complicated as you want through the use of multiple masks, multiple strokes, 
and whatever you need to get in there to create white against black so that that can then be used for its luma properties to reveal something. 